1019 RXP, it's Matt Pinfield and Leslie Fram, The Rock Show, here with one of my favorite singers, Liam Gallagher. Liam, yes, man. great to have you here, man. Oh, it's nice to be back, man, in uh, New York. I love New York. It's good to be here, man. Yeah, and you look fantastic. And oh, I man. wanted to ask you about Pretty Green, which is your new clothing line. Yeah. You know, I love it because it's named after a jam song, which is uh, I Love the Jam, and I know you love Paul Weller in the jam as well. Uh, tell me about deciding to call it Pretty Green. Pretty Green just... You know, we were doing it, it wasn't sort of sitting there going, right, when the band splits up, we're going to make clothes. We were doing it before this band sort of imploded. We were sitting, we had a couple of days off in LA, me and a friend, and we were just sitting about, and we went, you know, let's go. So, you know, he said, you want to make some clothes? You ever thought of making your own clothes? Says, not really, no. Too busy being a rock star and that. So then uh, he put me in touch with a guy that's been doing it for years, and we started. It just started off with shoes, really, you know what I mean? Because I was down to my last pair, favourite pair of suede shoes. So we started with that, and it just sort of happened, you know, T-shirts, jumpers, jackets, clothes, hats, all sorts. I mean, you always look great anyway. I mean, you've always, as far as I'm concerned, been very stylish, yeah. you know, so... Well, clothes, man, you know what I mean? It's important as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? You can have a good song, but if you look like a knobhead, then it doesn't work in my book, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's so much synergy between, you know, music and fashion, and uh, did you have an inspiration, like, you know, was it like early mod years, or? It's all that stuff, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm a bit of a mod, but I don't sleep with a scooter or anything, I'm not like, you know, there's there's serious mods out there, but the late 60s, you know, the Stones with Brian Jones, the Small Faces, the Who, the Kinks, all that kind of era, you know what I mean? There was a period where music and fashion just you know, come together and everyone looked cool and everyone yeah. sounded cool. Yeah. All the cool models, too, from the 60s yeah, that were from the UK were amazing. Yeah. There you go. Genie yeah. shrimped into Twiggy to, like, you know, yeah. everybody in particular yeah. was great, you know? It was a good era, so we just sat I mean, this, the clothes that we're doing, it's it's all been done before. There's no, we're not doing anything new, you know what I mean? But the quality of it's cool and, you know, it's a, you know if people dig it, they dig it. If they don't, they don't, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not going to put a gun to people's head to buy it, you know what I mean? Absolutely, and we're talking to Liam Gallagher right now. Now, Liam, named after a, a jam song from the album Sound Effects that we both yeah. love, obviously, and what was what was Weller's reaction when you uh, told him that you were doing a... He was into it, man. Yeah. He, he was really into it, you know, he's, you know, Weller's a, another one who's always looked cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think well, he, I think he's sort of like, you know, he's a... You know he likes that stuff when you get when you get you know rec- you know recognition and that. Yeah, because he he took his nod from the mods as well. I mean, so yeah, he's in it. Maybe give me some clothes. Still waiting for the check and the post. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now you had a uh, sort of a decision in helping to design this. I mean, it, was it in your head? Did you sit there and draw anything out, Liam? No, I'm not. not I'm not like that, man. It was, I sort of just go through the old wardrobe. You know what I mean? Anything that's looking a bit tatty, I sort of uh, revamp. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, no. I mean, I'm not, uh, the guy that the guy that I'm doing it with, Nick Holland, he's been doing it since. Uh, his family's it's a family business. They've been doing it since he was about five. You know what I mean? So he comes in with the material, and we sort of just tweak it a bit. You know what I mean? I don't sit around sewing buttons and stuff like that. Do you think that um, Matt Pinfield would look good in pretty green? In your in pretty green, yeah. You want to look pretty green? Anyone look cool in pretty green, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm to mod you up, baby. I love, hey, listen, you know what? You know how much I love that all that that British music from the oh, 60s. Oh my god, I'm fascinated. And I love yeah. Liam in Oasis, and uh, let's face it, that stuff is great in the jam. Hey, Liam, so t- let's talk about the new project because yeah. obviously, you know, you and your brother split up, and, yeah. and you guys we finally put- knocked it on the head, man. Which is uh, it's a shame at the time, but because I felt we had records still left in us, but if we don't get on, you don't get on, and you know what I mean, and uh, and that's it, you know what I mean. But you know, he'll go and do his thing, and we'll do our thing, and I reckon it'll be an in- exciting time for music. Worldwide, you know what I mean. Let alone just England. I think Noel's record will be good, and ours will be better. Yeah. So it'll still, there'll still be, we'll still be at it with each other, but not in the same room. Yeah, I think it's great because uh, you're going to be writing, of course, and have written with Andy Bell and Gem, two guys are, who've been in, in Oasis. Mega musicians, man. People, aren't, you know, obviously Andy with Ride and stuff. People know him. Gem with Heavy Stereo, but them two are. Yeah, They're on fire at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I love the fact that Heavy Stereo were very influenced, kind of like by, by at that time T Rex yeah, and T-Rex, Bowie yeah. and you know oh, that yeah. kind of Roxy there's music. There's a bit, there's a bit of that on there, man. There's, I tell you, it's a good mix. And then you know, psychedelia, but there's still some you know rock and roll tunes on there. And what about the stuff now that Andy switched to playing guitar with you? Tell Mega. me about how that's going. Mega man, he thinks he's Jimi Hendrix at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so yeah. But no, it's good, man. It's a good mix of the record. I'm really excited about it. We're going to record it about halfway through April. Got three weeks to do some tunes, see if the producer doesn't muck it up. Yeah, are, have you decided who you're going to work with? Yeah, but I'm going to keep it stumming. I've keep- been there. Uh, but yeah, so we're going with him. Yeah. 
see what happens, and then if it's all cool, we go back in June and finish it off. You know what I mean? That'll be great. Yeah. And what about coming to the US to play, actually? Definitely. Well, we've got some Oasis stuff that we've got to tie up first. I think there's like a... They're putting out... The label's putting out some collection and that of all the singles, which I'm proud of and all, you know what I mean? So we'll wait until that's finished. Yeah. And then uh, maybe have a single out towards the end of the year and get some gigs done and maybe put our album out the following year. I think it's fantastic. Speaking of which, you know, I've talked to Leslie about this. I love you, your singles so much, besides the albums, but I would look forward to every one of those EPs coming out for oh, all the it's, songs. It's coming, man. You know, and uh, and that box, I used to have those two cigarette box sets oh, I yeah, got, yeah. as well as the ones that I bought singularly, yeah. but those tracks are great. So is that one of the things you'll get, you'll be doing as well with your new band, is making sure like you, you know, there's a lot of output and you're writing prolifically? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that the problem with Oasis towards the end, we weren't writing B-sides anymore, you know what I mean? That's, that's what we were known for. We'd always have good selection of b-sides and this is what we plan on doing man yeah you know that like remixes or live but i mean the odd live one every now and again but we'll be definitely putting out a lot of b-sides we're going to start again like what oasis was you know what i mean i think that's the the benchmark of it absolutely i know guys like me are, are really pumped up about that yeah no it's gonna be good man <laughs> yeah we're talking to liam gallagher liam uh are you uh do you have a period of music or a period where you were the most proud of stuff that you had written personally I didn't write that much, me. Uh, so I only started writing songs, but like a little James and Songbird. Yeah, I mean, stuff. yeah, I mean, the last tune I wrote was uh, called "Out of My, Out of Time," which I, f I thought was pretty cool. Songbird was cool. Little James was just that shouldn't have been on an Oasis record. It was a personal thing, really. But well, it was about your son. So yeah. So that, I mean, at the moment, yeah, I think it's so exuberant when you have a new kid and yeah. it's your child, you know. Yeah, but wasn't having it anymore you know it was all right yeah no, I... But i'm excited about the new songs man it surprised a few people yeah we are we are totally pumped about that i loved uh at the brit awards well i was well, I, I was excited about the whole you know i love no songs i love singing his songs so the holloway thing was cool for me man. oh listen those songs are fantastic i put them up against any rock songs from any era as far as i'm concerned i mean is there you know your fans oasis fans who love you and you know love Noel, love you guys to death are you guys speaking at the moment? Not really, no. Which is a shame because we're brothers. But you know, it's a, it's a bit, you know, it's a big thing for me and him splitting up. You know what I mean? And, like people can laugh it off and all that tackle. But you know, it's sad when two family members, whether you're in a band or not, don't get on. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we'll, I think we'll speak at some point. Has your mom taken the, the, the this? Does she see this? Some things were stupid, doesn't she? You know, she just wants to, <laughs> yeah. Does she try to like as moms do try to put she, you back together? She's just like I get over yourself. You know what I mean? You just think you're, you know, you're just in a band. You know what I mean? You're not curing cancer or anything. We're making music. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. Just things were stupid. That's yeah. Probably right. Yeah, and your mom, <laughs> mom's. A, I'm sure your mom is like the one person yeah. who's never afraid to tell you and Noel yeah. what she thinks. You know what I mean? Like she'll always shut you guys down because she loves you both. Yeah, but you know it's right. that thing. You know. We, listen, we'll probably chat at some point, but at the moment, nah. He's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm, you know, I've just got off the road with him. We only split up in August, so. I've had enough of him for a bit. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he feels the same way. There's that old phrase, you know, time heals all wounds. And it's true. And it's also the brother thing, the sibling. You know, you've been yes. growing up together in the same rooms for, you know, all those years as well. Uh, I mean, that's true. Now, um, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask about, Liam, is the Brit Awards. I love. I, I saw the other albums that were nominated. Of course, Urban Hymns was a great record. But record. I know how much you love Richard and your friends yeah. with him. And, um, but, I, I mean, I thought Morning Glory was deservedly won that award of the past. Well, I do, years. yeah, without a doubt, man. I've, you know. It was, it was, you know, it's not just because it sold loads. I think it changed a lot of kids' heads at the time, you know what I mean? It was important records to people in England, you know what I mean? So, more so than Phil Collins, bless him. But uh, that's life, you know what I mean? I think we deserve to win it, and yeah, there you go. 